At the mid-1930s, Hoover's reputation was well established as the premier upright vacuum cleaner manufacturer. There was Hoover and there was everybody else. While the Airway Corporation had their own unique feature, the only cleaner to have a disposable bag until 1952, uh, but they wanted to move in on Hoover's territory. They uh, wanted everyone to be able to buy an Airway that would clean every bit as well as a Hoover. And the engineering department at Airway in Toledo, Ohio, came up with this machine here, the Airway Dirt Master. You could definitely call this over-engineered, um, but it's a work of art. Underneath this hood, we have a motor. Um, we have a belt from the motor to the brush roll down here. And we have another belt from the other side of the motor to the fans. There are two fans mounted back to back in this housing, um, and they are able to communicate with the brush roll housing to produce suction for carpets. And if you take and open this little port here, not only are you able to connect the hose and that opens that up, but this also seals off the brush roll housing with a rubber uh, valve in there and diverts the suction to the hose opening. We have a handle release here. We have a height adjustment that's here, high, medium, and low. There are grease ports for the bearings and the fans. Um, the motor had ball bearings, which didn't need to be greased. The front wheels are also adjustable. Looking closely, we can see an L, an M, and an H, low, medium, and high, in case you wanted to adjust the front wheels. We've got a beautiful logo winged uh, brass stamped with the Airway Dirtmaster name. We have the one screw here. If you remove that, the whole hin hood uh, hinges up from the back, just like the hood on a car. Headlight here under a beautiful polished aluminum cowl with a bumper to protect your furniture. The famous Airway bag system. There's a cellulose liner inside here, disposable. Uh, we've got these little release catches for the bag. And uh, the handle, this being the only Airway upright that didn't have a hollow handle, they took the switch and cord design almost directly from Hoover. Uh, this, this could almost be right off of a Hoover. Um, and none of the Hoovers were chrome-plated, but you can see how much they borrowed from Hoover's current offerings. Uh, here is the machine running. This took quite a bit of work to polish up and get the scratches out. Uh, the hood has not been repainted, but uh, all the aluminum has been polished, and I'm pleasantly surprised at how well this runs. Here we go. And there you have it, the Airway Dirt Master. Thanks for watching.